Yes, good evening, Rahul. It is indeed a terribly sad day. You know, Harsha is yet another Hindu name lost in the midst of victimhood and propaganda. But before Harsha, there was Kishan. Before Kishan, there was Kamlesh. And before Kamlesh, there were thousands whose names don't even register in our minds because they have been clouded with selectivity. And because they all these people have worked for Hindu causes, they have systematically been dehumanized. So if they are RSS workers or VHP workers or Bajrang Dal workers, their lives don't count at all. Their deaths are explained away that this was a natural cause going to happen anyway. And so we maintain silence on more than 190 Muslim mob hate attacks on Hindus, Dalits and non-Dalits. Over the past two and a half years, Rahul, including Bharat Yadav, who was lynched after being called a Kafir, including in Rachi, where a Muslim mob segregated bus passengers based on their religion before wanting to set it on fire, including Dalit Gangaram, who was lynched because he dared to file a police complaint when his daughter was abducted, including breaking a Ambedkar statue, thrashing Dalit families after they objected to a Dalit girl, Sarita, being assaulted by a Muslim, including nearly lynching a Dalit Jayanti Bhatti for daring to wear a Pathan suit, including going on a murderous rampage in Bangalore over alleged blasphemy by Dalit Nitin. That particular instance, you may recall, Rahul, took a backseat to the propaganda of Muslims joining hands and forming a ring around a Hindu temple to save it miraculously. None of these attacks elicit any outrage. I'll tell you something else that hasn't elicited any outrage. The statement recently by Karnataka Congress leader Mukarram Khan, who said, and I quote him, those who stop Muslim girls from wearing hijab will be chopped to pieces, unquote. And a few days later, Harsha is indeed chopped to pieces and he did no such thing as stopping anyone from wearing a hijab. His crime was to ask for a uniform dress code. Rahul, you have to understand. Secularism cannot win over Sharia. It stands no chance. This is an argument any one of us cannot win because we are man, not God. And God or Allah has specifically prescribed a dress code 2431 3359. God or Allah has specifically ordered that those who abuse Allah and His Messenger, Allah has cursed them in this world and the hereafter and prepared for them a humiliating punishment 3357. And that the penalty for those who wage war against Allah is that they be killed or crucified 533. We need to understand anyone who is perceived to have abused Allah or His Messenger or prevented His order from being followed will. Sooner or later, meet the fate of Kamlesh Tiwari or Samuel Pati or Kishan or Harsha. It may take a week, a month, a year, a decade, but it will happen, Rahul. The second thing quickly we need to understand, just 20 seconds, is that it is the moderate Muslim who perennially plays the victim card and cushions the extremists. They snare the fundamentalists but spare the fundamentals. The irony is that they want non-believers against whom so much violence has been ordered to feel good about it and not be fearful. Isn't that nice? The holy book, Rahul, grabs the neck of the believer and of the non-believer, severs it. So if you remember, Rahul, in the last debate on the same hijab controversy, I specifically pointed out that this region is highly radicalized and volatile as a consequence of offshoots of Simi operating from behind the scenes and even, let's say, they've come to the fore. And what you've seen is the exact apprehension playing itself out. This clearly tells you the manufactured nature of the controversy. But for a moment, let's actually keep the blessed hijab on the side. A Hindu boy, 26-year-old boy, has just died. His mother is wailing and we are fighting over politics. And let me say this bluntly, this was not a political murder. This was a religiously motivated assassination. There I've said it. A Hindu was killed for being an assertive Hindu because his heart effectively was on the right side. And the man wanted to assert his Hindu identity and specifically was asking for equal treatment. Harsha was not asking for the exclusive right of saffron shawls or towels to be worn in school and hijab to be banned. In fact, he was asking for a uniform code. So this is the consequence for a Hindu asking for parity in treatment. Second, I have to say this. Condemnation apparently in the language of Mr. Shah starts by expressing condolence and then goes on to say, but you know, CIA effectively called this organization a terrorist organization or a militant organization. Well, therefore, that's how exactly I will I'll monkey balance this entire condolence by starting with a condolence message and then say, well, he was a member of this particular organization. And then all of us are expected to buy this hogwash. I have to say this aloud. The fact of the matter is systematic dehumanization 
of Hindus who are assertive Hindus and therefore members of any party or organization that represents this particular ideology is the reason that this particular boy was murdered in broad daylight. And you have so-called editors such as Shekhar Gupta specifically highlighting murder in single quotes as if questioning the fact that this was a murder. So this is the nature of the creature or the devil that you're dealing with. I, I refuse to buy that all of this is political. This is fundamentally religious. And therefore, please, let's accept this. Let's at least accept the realities and facts for what they are. You are looking at the third wave of radicalization, and that is the fact of the matter. Those organizations responsible for this must be banned. People have been asking for the banning of the PFI from across the board, from Kerala to Karnataka and other places. How many more murders does the government at the state level and the union level need before they start acting on these, on these urges, on these exhortations? I can't say this enough. We can keep playing these political games, but people who are assertive Hindus are being silenced systematically. It's not just the foot soldier, but people who also represent that particular ideology who are at serious risk. A couple of months ago, we, ha we had this news of the uh, RSS headquarters being the subject of some kind of an attack. There were terror threats being issued. This is the nature of the creature. Why do we call this a political murder? This was not a political murder. This was religious. Can anybody say that the hijab controversy is merely political? It is religious. What did he do? Please tell me something. If somebody is a member of the VHP or the BJP or the RSS or let's say the Bajrang Dal, what crime have they committed? If somebody can be a member of the AIMIM, which effectively represents the party of the Razakars, I say this, why can't anybody be a member of the BJP, RSS or any other organization that represents Hindutva? I just don't understand. So I'm sorry to say, I refuse to buy this hogwash. Anybody who minces words in expressing condemnation for this particular broad daylight religious murder is a hypocrite of the first order and is fundamentally an anti-Hindu, regardless of his religious affiliation. Whether he's a Hindu or a Muslim, doesn't matter. He has become a Hindu hater, un unconsciously and subconsciously. That is a fact. Rauf and I have to say this once more. If the state to continues to turn a blind eye to these kind of broad daylight murders, then there will come a point where the community that has just suffered another murder will have to look for options outside the state to protect itself because the state comes in only after everything is done well, and the let's... legal system is not proving to be a sufficient deterrent. Okay. And in my opinion, Please an go orchestrated ahead. attempt to Please frame go somebody... Ahead. I dare you. Please go challenge. ahead. I dare you. Okay. One second, I didn't interrupt you. Let me speak. Let me speak. Number two, very important to tell your viewers on your show, Rahul, that a lot of people who come on the show, including this guy, Sai Deepak, are actually people who are dangerous to our society. This man is a danger Fantastic. to our society. Because he's condemned. You've opened yourself to a fantastic case here. Great. Ask, here comes the legal ask, notice your way. Charge, fantastic. Where is the charge sheet? Where is the charge sheet on the basis of which he's made allegations against the community? Where is the charge sheet on the basis of which he's actually made a very strong statement? So let's against not have a debate on this issue at all until the charge sheet is filed. Is that your argument? He has been arrested. Does he even know what he's talking about? Okay, let him finish. Let him finish. The prime accused in the murder of Harsha is named a man named Kashif. No, no, one second. Nupur Sharma, let him finish. Let him finish. I think he missed the point. Okay, let him finish. The point is, the point is that he's not even up to date on the facts. Maybe. Sanjay Jha, I, you just I need to... That's his One, prerogative, he, but I, I just... Fact straight. Sanjay Jha, really just a couple of things. Look, you may not you may not be up to the facts in this line, matter. There have been three arrests. Rahul, my last line and I'm done. I want like to a say former this, party, he's behind on the learning curve. This man is masquerading trying to be a pro-majority supporter, but these are the dangers to our society. They divide us. Thank you. You have just invited us Sorry, Rahul, the legal notice your way. Come on, let's take notice it. I'm happy okay. to do so. Okay, one I'm happy to do so. People who hijacked the you know, plane out of psychopathy. Okay. One second, Rahul. He Mr. belongs Rahul to a party. He belongs to a party which is let let Jay Sai Deepak speak for himself. And he goes on to make the statement. I'm happy to take notices with him. Madam, please. My position was very clear. Yeah. Which is exactly what Rahul Shiv Shankar's impression was based on Mr. Sanjay Shah's state that this particular content does not hold that eyes because he starts by expressing a condolence and then goes on to drop a line about the Bajangal being a militant terrorist organization. If that is defamation, well, Mr. Jha, 
on public platform this could be a danger to the Tuskegee but not when that is actually textbook defamation so i'm happy to trade legal notices but the fact of the matter is this the impression that his statement gave is that the death of a person belonging to a particular political organization is a lesser death therefore someone belonging to these organizations are lesser mortals well, that's it viewers and that is a public impression that he's given no rahul i i wanted to uh, all of us with due respect to get back to the debate yeah and i wanted to uh, take one highlight one point that my good friend sanjay jha made which is uh, he asked a rhetorical question uh, who was pehlu khan who was akhlaq so please bear with me for 2 minutes if you will you know the recent delhi riots 1300 people were arrested and they included roughly equal number of hindus and muslims both hindus and muslims took part and both hindus and muslims lost their lives and yet you know it rahul in the age of social media 24 by 7 videography there were those who believed that hindus weren't victim at all that ratan lal wasn't stoned and shot that dilbar wasn't hacked and burnt alive that vinod wasn't lynched because his bike sported a jai shri ram sticker that temples weren't attacked and desecrated that arun public school wasn't burned to the ground that rahul thakur wasn't shot to death that acid and stones and petrol bombs weren't thrown from tyru sen's roof that santosh didn't allow her two grandchildren from the window of her house that was set on fire that hindu dalit deepak and lala weren't dragged and beaten by a bloodthirsty mob that hindu dalit shobhu ram's furniture shop wasn't reduced to ashes that hindu dalit dinesh khate wasn't cornered and lynched that vivek's skull wasn't drilled into by a muslim mob that ankit wasn't stabbed 50 times after he was already dead there had been a concerted attempt to turn that riot into a pogrom facts painted a different picture this isn't some ancient indian history that rent a penny leftist historians can airbrush this happened right before our very eyes rahul you'd have to gouge them out first if your vile propaganda is to succeed and finally 20 seconds sanjay my good friend you talked of pehlu khan and akhlaq here's a question that i pose not only to you but to every panelist including the bjp spokesperson who were neelima jyoti prema gv devkala zaver mittal neeta harshad pratashya neeru chhaya chirag sudha mala arvind umakan sadashiv mani jaisal mansukh rati jamna shanta indira rajesh shila manjula champa diwali lalita mangu pralad bhim ji lakhu vithal shailesh amrut narendra raman who were they any panelist can answer who were these I'll names answer you. sanjay ja names answer i'll answer you sanjay i'll answer you patan i'll you say they were indians names. you rattled off 50 names my But. answer will come by I, my answer comes with only one simple question do you know who said desh ke gaddaron ko goli maro sat ko who said This is no. this is exactly what I'm saying, viewers. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm you, saying. You There is an overinvestment. Now, now one minute. Seconds. I need to tell every panelist who these names were. These were the 54 names no, who were burnt word. alive What? in Godra in S6 coach. <laughs> Do we know even single name? BJP, right wing, left, non-wing. No one knows their names. No one. Now, uh, uh, very very quickly, just two points. My good friend J. Sai. Uh, in fact mentioned a name and you said look that person is not there to defend himself so fair enough but rahul you know that a journalist who shall remain nameless from your fraternity actually did not condemn the death of or killing of prashant pujari because he said he belonged to the vhp you know very well there is a carnatic uh, classical singer who said he doesn't really mind if rss people are killed or he insinuated that because the first propaganda is to dehumanize them the hindu workers and may i please just 10 seconds ask the uh, with respect the ai mm spokesperson the lady there just a simple question madam are ahmadiyas muslims yes or no miss falak we can't hear you yes go ahead mr rahul yeah. why did you bring in ai mm here ai mm is not a party who gives a ticket to a terror accused mp ticket and aim is not a party who welcomes and garlands uh, uh, ter terrorist and rapist bjp Simple does that you, aim madam. does are not are ahmadiyas muslims are ahmadiyas muslims why, why 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 are we bringing ahmadiyas here i don't understand why can't we why can't we i love ahmadiyas see i BJP think they are muslim has... do you think they are muslims 
BJP has Will you answer that? Issue. That's why this is happening all over India. It might be difficult. Rahul, BJP it might Rahul be difficult. You see, people. viewers. BJP should be held. <coughs> you see, viewers. You accuse the Hindus of bigotry hate and of sectarianism. Hate speeches are coming from BJP. You are not prepared leaders. to accept a fellow hate Muslim as Muslim. Hate speeches are coming from BJP. Okay. Hate speeches. Are okay. Let's let's Muslim let's Muslim let's 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 silence everybody. I want to bring in Jay Sai Deepak. Jay Sai Deepak, very quickly to what. Uh, one of the other panelists accused you of of spreading hate, etc., etc. Tosi Fehmat, quick response if you would want to. I presented the facts. If that amounts to hatred, so be it. The point is this: every Hindu killing is reduced to personal animosity, whereas everybody else who dies is because of Hindu terror and Hindu terrorists. That is the status of Indian secularism for you. Thank okay. you.